You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back to Inconceivable Mondays, talking about these theology terms, these theological words that we hear all the time. Maybe we get it, maybe we don't. Let's get going. Today, we're going to cover a fun one that you may have heard before, maybe not, but if you haven't, here it is. It's called adiaphora. Ooh, a fun word. Basically, what it means, usually when people use this word adiaphora, they're saying it's something that doesn't matter. Like, do you wear vestments in church? Well, you're not going to be saved or you're not going to be condemned if you either do or don't wear vestments. Or what lectionary you use, the one year or the three year, or no lectionary. Um, what type of worship you do? Do you do divine service setting three or five or matins or contemporary worship even? So the offer is usually used, this word is to say, well, it doesn't matter, therefore, we should never really talk about it, and it shouldn't divide us. What the word actually means is, it's something that's neither condemned nor really blessed in Scripture. Like, if a pastor wears a stole and a chasuble, that's not either condemned nor redeemed in Scripture. Things like the way we do worship. Is sometimes a preference. Most of the time, it's what best delivers the gifts of the cross. And is it something that's either condemned nor redeemed or amplified in Scripture? So this word was basically used, and it's talked about in the Formula of Concord, which is in the Book of Concord, which came out about 30 years after Luther died. Right, Luther died in 1546. Formula of Concord was 1577, 1578. And they have all these divisions after Luther. What are things that are condemned? What are things that are blessed in Scripture? And if it's blessed in Scripture, we should fight it to the end because Scripture commands it. Or if it's condemned in Scripture, we should oppose it. But then these audio offer things come in. It's like, well, these are things where we don't have to have this massive division over. We can have fraternal conversation about it. It gives us this gift. So audio offer isn't a term used to excuse me from doing something, but rather is a word that allows me to have better discussion with you. To say, hey, like here's an example. Is infant baptism audiophora? No. It's clear in scripture that we baptize babies. Or that Jesus is bodily present in the sacrament of the altar. The bread and the wine are the body and blood. That's not audiophora. But how you do worship can be. And that's something we can talk about. When you meet someone, they say, oh yeah, I use divine service setting three every Sunday and we do the same rotation of 30 hymns all the time. Oh, well, my pastor writes a new liturgy every week. Ugh, no, we don't have to do that. But what we can do is say, okay, let's get to what this all means together. It allows us to have better discussion, a better opportunity to bear the cross together as we walk together, as we live our life together. And this helps us talk with other Christians, every Christian, not just Missouri Synod, but like you're Roman Catholic or you're Baptist or you're Episcopalian or you're Methodist. What are some things that we can say aren't either condemned or blessed? And we can discuss those things as we hopefully build a relationship with each other to show that we actually do love one another as Christ first always, first and always loves us. So Adiaphra. It's not a word used to excuse things or to say it doesn't matter, but rather saying, hey, it's not condemned nor blessed in Scripture and gives us a gift to have better discussion and dialogue with each other. God bless you all, and we'll see you next time on Inconceivable Mondays. Bye-bye.